ruedas. Dimas. This fight is between you and me. And it is one you cannot win. If Brasidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His, yours, and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop! Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Alexios! Yeah. But I will stop you! My name is Demos! If we continue, one of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mater. Finally reunited, only to lose each other again! You're cold-blooded. I would have done the same at Pilos. Of course, that's not the first time you cast me away to die. Huh. So that's what they told you. It's what I know. So what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you anytime I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandoned you? Is that what you call it? There is no other name for what you did to me. I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it! No one told you that I tried to save you. I ran to catch you. I killed an elder. That ended my life, too. Always trying to play the hero. It wasn't enough then, and it isn't enough now. I did everything I could, and I'm doing the same today. It's too late. There's nothing you could say to make me feel like family. Listen, after you and the Elder fell, they threw me off Mount Taietos too. Pater, let me go. It was his duty. You were abandoned too? Yes. But we both survived. Against their wishes. We did. We're alive. Maybe it serves them right. Themos, we've been searching for you, and you are here. In the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action to take, boy. Do whatever you want with her. I intend to. Now go. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Cassandra. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in Squala. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. 
I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. I thought politics was a game to you, remember? It is. And I play to win. Fuck you, Cleon. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. You helped me in Athens, even willingly. If only you were more like your brother now. A pity. The cult wins, Cassandra. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. Ah, at least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Cassandra. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. Her equipment, Varnavas. Come, Varnavas. Cassandra, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. You made it. Of course I did. Varnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! <laughs> Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mytilene to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <sighs> ah.
It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece. It will change everything. Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you. I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no. It's Thespis. My leading man is missing. A play with no star is no play at all. You could just get another actor. Oh, no. Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mytilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mytilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. If we know where Cleon is, I should just kill him. The problem here does not end with the death of one person. We have the whole of Athens to consider. So, other methods are in play. A student of mine poses as a guard at the Acropolis as we speak. It's an unusual method, but these are desperate times. Then they call for desperate measures. You've always been honest with me. Since we first met and you admitted to tampering with the ostracism vote, you've proven you care about the truth. And that is what I seek now. What if there's nothing to find? Then we will act accordingly. Preparing for an outcome that may never exist helps no one, wouldn't you agree? Socrates, Cleon deserves to die. As do we all, eventually, but only the gods decide when. He decided, when he sent that fleet to bring death to an entire island. So, you believe it's good to kill one man to save 1,000? I guess not. But if you're not willing to work for the greater good, then what is the defining factor? I define myself, and I am not Cleon. Nor is any Athenian I've ever known. But to convince them of that, we need proof. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Penix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. Good. You're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! 
I'm not harming the person, someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However, those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. I guess I've learned something. It must be from all the time I've spent around you. Debate may not always be as quick as a blade, but it can have just as big an effect. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure, that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. I'm sorry, but you can't be trusted to live. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So? He's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. 
Go take your boys somewhere else. You will regret that. Get going. From your smell, you already know where the goat pens are. I'm sure they miss you. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who were they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. <sighs> I sometimes wonder if leaving Cephalonia was a good idea. Hmm, not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got the drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespi said I'd find you here. Ah. My darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis' great love. That is love. This is commerce. So, what are you into? No, Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Rexenor has made it clear. It would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress-up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people, too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with his stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you? Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Rexenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors, he gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. I'll be back soon. Fuck off! <laughs> Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? 
fresh piece is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change, for the better. I can see there is more in your eyes, but we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. day for us and for our children if Cleon should perish. You also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults. And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery. See, he treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas, the conspirators are murdering me. Ah, ah, ooh, ee, oh, ee, ah, ooh, oh, eh. Finally, someone who's willing to have some fun. I'm not sure how many more times I can take Socrates rejecting me. I'm sure you'll get through it. Perhaps you can help take my mind off it. I could always use a bit more fun. I knew it. Let the walls sing with the echoes of our passion as all tension melts from our bodies. I could use some relaxing. Say no more. <sighs> Even in times of war, a little bit of fun goes a long way. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So, what are you going to do? Cleon dies now. This is our chance. The plan is already working. Death shouldn't be brought early, even to someone like Cleon. He's exactly the type death should come early to. Not all who live deserve to grow old, Socrates. And you decide who deserves it? This time, I do. Ah. Then, safe travels. Rasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. After Pilos, what happened? The remaining Spartans found me and gave me time to recover. So I did. But your leg... You disappeared from battle. I was captured. Taken to Athens for an interrogation with Demos and Cleon. They didn't kill you? They tried. So, Cleon's in Amphipolis. Somewhere. And in armor, I hear. He'll fight for his life today. He wants to be the hero. Athenians can't think much of him after what he did. This is our chance, Prasidas. We kill Cleon today. 
If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I did what I thought was right. You hurt my reputation. I can fix that, Brasidas. Let me fix it. It's too late. Let me explain. I know you killed Nikolaos. You... How? You showed up in Magaris and the wolf died. No explanation needed. That man destroyed my life and they made him a general for it. I had no choice. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. We I... need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. The Athenian camp is ahead! Destroy it all! War Sparta! Everything so personally. <coughs> oh. Shit. Turn back. Don't come any closer. Fucking coward! He can't get away. This isn't your fight, Cassandra. Unfortunately for you, it is. It's not too late, you know. You can still uh, join us. We're not in Athens. You can't talk your way out of this. Why won't you just leave me alone? This is all your fault. You did this, Cleon. You have only yourself to blame. Cassandra, come now. Show mercy. You turned him against us. My own brother. We lifted Themos up! We made him great, unstoppable! You made him a monster! Then fight by his side! Teach him! You would have Themos once again! His name is Alexios! I beg you! This world is severed, Cassandra, and we'll unite it! Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty! Have pity! You will die just as you lived. Uh, as a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. You're not worth the memory. That's it then. Mirini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Vrasidas. I should have gotten to Demos sooner. I'm sorry, my friend. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Vrasidas is dead. No. Demos killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon shot him in the back with an arrow. He fell. I don't think he survived. Malakas, Cleon. 
I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Tayetos, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. Alexios! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Alexios. Please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? <laughs> the cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I told you, Mater. He's too far gone. Too far gone? Is that what you told Mater? Why didn't you tell her the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You are just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted. And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the road. Alexios? When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in the world of beasts. A family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. My destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Alexios? Listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again.
This belonged to our grandfather. You're home now. I've done terrible things. We all have, Alexios. You can't protect anyone, can you? Maybe we both should have died here that day. But... Ah! No! The gods are cruel. Ah! I tried to save you! Stop living in the past, sister! Your death is now! You've hurt this family for the last time! Oh, ho, ho, ho. but that's where you're wrong! The hurting has only just begun! Varnavas! I didn't know you were here. Sorry I missed dinner. Didn't miss much. Chin up! There's more to this world than Sparta! And, lucky for us, we get to see it all. You're right. Let's set sail. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. 
My opinion on death is a nebulous one because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. <sighs> Phoebe. I treated her like a child. With the intent to protect her, you were not only her friend, but her guardian. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. He had to keep to himself. He was always being pursued by something or someone. By protecting himself, he was protecting Athens from ruin. Aspasia may have been the only one who truly knew him. This war has taken so many. Even Brasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. I heard Cleon was found on the beach. Massacred, no less. It was no worse than what he would have done to his own people. I had to follow through. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Cassandra took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see. That would shoot a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us, who have persisted through everything, and to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs>